Here I will discuss an example mainly as to warn you that you should be careful with uh, using the two-sided infinite integrals or the two-sided improper integrals that we discussed in in uh, as type C. So look at the integral of minus infinity infinity of the function x dx. Well, this integral does not exist. Well, why is that? Well, we can take an arbitrary a, for instance, 0, but let's say we take an arbitrary a and uh, try to calculate the integral from a to infinity, so the one-sided improper integral, the type a integral. Well, this is defined as the limit for t to infinity of the integral of a to t of x dx. Yeah, now take a primitive, a half times x squared, within the bounds a and t, and we see that this equals the limit for t to infinity of a half times t squared, minus the lower bound, so a half times a squared, yeah? And a is a, is a constant, so this term converges to infinity, so it does not exist. And since uh, the integral from a to infinity does not exist, we will say that the integral of minus infinity to infinity x dx does not exist. And this holds for any a, so we may vary. We cannot find an a such that it would exist. Well, why is this case a little bit tricky? Well, this is due to the oddness of the function, yeah? So if we look at x, it has as axis of symmetry the line y equals zero. And uh, this would indicate that the if we would calculate the definite integral from minus t to t over x dx, we get zero for all t's. And so you might be tempted to uh, define the integral minus infinity infinity x over the function x dx as zero. But this is now not how it works. You would run in, in, into numerous problems if we would define integrals like, like